Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today is a drive day on Rocky Mountain Race Week. We're headed back to our hometown in Pueblo. So Buick, Dan Chevelle, old Clydeskis over here. We're loaded up, We're gonna hit the road. Got the Buick down there getting gas. Uh, it needs gas about every about 100 miles, so you have to kind of strategically choose where to stop. It could maybe make it 120 if it needed to. Clyde will just go ahead and top off and uh, keep rolling. The trailer's working out pretty well so far this year. Just keep rolling down the road. So a lot of people ask like, with the Mazda, how's it doing on gas? And it gets like 25 miles a gallon. I haven't really checked it this year. It got like 27 last year. Trailer, I know it's pulling a little bit more, but uh, otherwise it's been pretty good. Old gas guzzler Buick. Mazda doesn't need any fuel. This guy actually drove from Oregon. He did this last year too. Drives all the way from Oregon down, does the whole trip, drives all the way back to Oregon in his turbo truck. I think this thing runs like 12, so super impressive. Danny's car's doing pretty good. Made it to our final checkpoint before Pueblo at Old Ben's Fort. So there's a big fort back here. Maybe go check it out. Otherwise, everybody's made it so far. Solid driving today. Never mind that. Crippling look. Don't mind getting out of the car all rough. I think if you top off now, you'd probably make it back to Pueblo. That's what we just said. <laughs> Might as well nice call, walk out there and look at this thing. Yeah. There it is. Ford out in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Those are real chickens. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's like that's what this was its own community right here. Yeah. Whoever cool? lived right here and it was all yeah. self contained within it. Oh, yeah, yeah and just ain't nothing, nothing around but prairie, you know. Prairie and animals, you gotta go hunt. How did you get here is really confusing to me. A trail? I found this. Yeah. <laughs> And this is where you decided to set up, probably because the water was right there. Where is it? Right there on the table. Oh, hi, kitty. Oh. oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> you think it's you big? You are so cute. Hey, are you real? Yeah, you are. You're breathing. Wow, you are so cute. You're just so calm. Like, literally doesn't give yeah, you know, right. He's like, dude, you know how many people want to touch this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, how? I challenge you into a duel. What? Yeah, I know this stuff always kind of weirds me out. Like, we're all like walking around, and all of a sudden, like, all the big old doors, like, close. Like, okay, everybody, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the Thunder Dome. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, so what is your horse 60 foot? <laughs> All right, we're making it back into Pueblo. My dad's gonna head out to his place. We'll probably go get some food. And uh, all day, Danny's actually needing some fuel, so I'm gonna ask him where he's gonna pull over at. Well, we made it back to the house. Most of you guys even stop by here, so oil. almost there. But throw a little oil in it and be good to go, huh? Uh-huh. A couple quarts and a fresh unit. Fresh unit. <laughs> Chain Mod motor life. Chain yeah. You never know when a car's been through it a hundred thousand miles. <laughs> so you guys don't remember, uh, see it on their video, but they pretty much cleaned out the whole back to pull weight. Not sure if that was the, the right move with traction then, but the right tire pressure. Oh, that's going to need two cars, bud. <laughs> it, if you overfill it a little bit, it'll end up using it. So yeah, it's yeah. gonna use it'll it. It'll self-level. That's perfect. They probably won't know what to do with a fresh oil like that. Hey everyone, welcome back to another day of Rocky Mountain Race Week, and we got the Motion Raceworks marquee in here. Race uh, marquee. Race marquee. What did it end up doing yesterday? 14-2. 14-2. So 15.07 with some nitrous, and yesterday was even better, 14 Two with nine with a hundred shot with a hundred shot seventy five then a hundred and now it's in the build tune race exhaust shop here getting a uh, 
custom exhaust. Some new flows. So they picked up some stuff at their local parts store. I'm gonna uh, modify it out here with some clamps. Andy's in there with the sawzall and gonna chop this thing out of there and rock in the new exhaust. It's coming on real nice. Real nice. <laughs> So some cars tell you what they want and with the uh, ground clearance here and that pipe fits almost perfect there just gonna try to fire it up and see what it uh, sounds like just like this might as well and why add more weight if you don't need to as much horse pressure as this has it might actually shoot these off we'll see <laughs> test exhaust number uno hopefully that's the only one we got <laughs> literally a 10 minute exhaust <laughs> well, horn minutes, works 10 minute exhaust by motion racer Ready? Yep. Oh, Doesn't yeah, sound it sound bad. Doesn't that's sound it. bad at all. That's perfect. All right. Finish her up. Let's get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we got some weight mods to do. So since the exhaust mod went so quickly, I decided to come out here and get rid of the rear bumper support. So gone skis just trying to drop some weight out of it maybe put some speed holes in here so this thing don't fly away and now they're working on the front one trying to get rid of the front bumper sport get some weight off of this thing see what it can do uh a little bit lighter we all know that these things can lose some weight so. yep that's it just i mean do, do what you can and it's serving its purpose now at some point there's going to be a thing that makes it go from 1403 to 1390. just got to find that sweet spot got to find what it is and since we need to be at the track here in a few hours and just went ahead and drilled some holes to get to the bolts that they need to get to to room the inner supports gonna actually do the same thing on the front uh ease of access right instead of tearing the whole car apart so no problem You gotta line up your hole. <laughs> Eyeball it. Yeah. That's it. Hood. Oh, let's get it down and pick the hood up. A little bit more weight reduction with the hood and go to the track and see what this old girl will do, huh? Dude, it's not even like 11 o'clock yet. I kind of feel guilty for getting so much done so quick. <laughs> first time Efficiency. <laughs> New record for weight on the lift. Dropping pounds as we go, Coming though. Down a lot later than went up, though. See ya, hood. See ya. That's a big hood, too. That, we actually may have gotten enough weight out today to knock two times off. If this comes off. Ooh, that sounds good. It sounds like every 96 Mustang ever made. Speed holes in the bumpers. This thing's ready to. Oh boy! It doesn't sound bad. It sounds pretty good. It's not bad. It doesn't sound bad. It sounds actually pretty nice. <laughs> Wash it off real quick. Before I send this beast off, we gotta throw an old built-in race sticker on there. There it is. Stamp of approval, maybe one to even it out. Absolutely, put them wherever you want. <laughs> Throw some on there. Exhaust completed at, but bye. <laughs> what? Is this just tag our car? Tagged up, certified. Tag our car? How to like, do something. Some type of like gang member or something? <laughs> oh, rev tune. I mean, sounds pretty pristine now. I, I gotta say in the rear view mirror, it looks much, much better without a hood on it. Uh, just more refined, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, more mechanical. <laughs> All right, everyone made it out to the track. Clyde's tires are switched around, ready to go. The motion marquee is, well, definitely ready to go. And check this thing out. 
So we got a Turbo LS limo. So this ring's pretty awesome. They've been driving it all week, just doing its thing out here. It's pretty, pretty cool ride right here. I'm sure this is a fun one to cruise in. Tons of looks, little Holly FI dash. It's got the CB for the back. Oh yeah. This thing is cherry. What do you think this baby's gonna run? I'd be happy with like a 14.2 or something. Hell but yeah. I would love a 13 -9. Hell yeah. A lot of weight, weight reduction, so yeah. we'll see. Right yeah. She went on a good diet this morning. All right, the motion your race Marquise is gonna get ready to run. The <laughs> fan Fifteen forty eight, ninety four miles an hour. What do you think, Franca? Not gonna climb me there. All right, James is coming up now. And Clyde. What's that? A four runner? And like a blue. so we'll see but he's in the 13 out class so he'll have to lift Thirteen two at 101. So yeah, he can turn that slip in. All right, Andy, what do you think? What's the game plan from here? Uh, I think we just got to go back to our uh, manual progressive setup so that we can uh, get the car to leave. I'm sure as it cools down, the track will come around. So it's still almost at about the same mile an hour, even up in the, the altitude here. So I think I don't think it's probably that far off. So we'll see. We'll see what it does. Yeah, the last, so the last pass we made it just dead hooked, and so we're like, oh, we can just spray it out of the hole, so I didn't do the bump, 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 bump this time, and it just hit the tire and spun for like 60 feet, so a little slower, but we'll get her back. All right, everyone, first pass, 13-2, but we're running into some sort of issue with the car, gets into like third or fourth or something, so uh, 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 uh. you lift, get back in it, and it'll pull fine, so it, it's real weird that in that gear it has like an issue. Uh, I don't know, I need to probably just double check tranny fluid, which it has never leaked any, so it shouldn't be an issue. They're weird to like check on those. Uh, I'm thinking maybe fuel filter, maybe it like pulls hard enough through there that it like can't supply enough fuel. Maybe the fuel filter's out on it or something. The fuel pump actually kind of sounded a little goofy right there when I just cycled the keys, so could have to start checking on some stuff and uh, maybe try swapping a fuel filter real quick tonight, see if that fixes it or not. It's not too bad of a deal, so we'll see. This thing is friggin' cool. Turbo LS wagon. Yeah, I dig it. Check out that little Civic too, wing on the back. <laughs> Alright guys, April's gonna go. All I did was rewrite the tune, but I'm pretty sure it's a mechanical issue, not a tune issue. So this is a 1260 tune-up. It's been 1260s here. Goes out and coughs and hiccups and everything out here. We definitely got some sort of little mechanical issue that we're going to be fighting. Still had a little issue. 
It was 13.33 at 106. So she pedaled it and it still went the number, but. So we definitely have some sort of mechanical issue. I don't know if it's, you know, spark plugs or fuel fil the fuel filter for some reason was kind of drawing me to it. It's got this plastic one in it. So we might go check that and uh, see if we can get it figured out. All right, everyone. So Ruby is actually in first place in my dad's class. My dad is in second. So there's like a tenth and a half, I think, that separates them or something, maybe two tenths um, in the average. But my dad's ready to go. James is ready to go. So we'll see what Ruby does. And then we'll have to try to hopefully better than it. But James has been pretty good in the, the low 50s all week. So all we can do is try to more or less match that and uh, keep moving forward. So we're gonna try to swap a fuel filter out that's not uh, dirty on the outside. That's actually sand on the inside of it. So clean, get a new fuel filter. Try that. Hopefully not a bunch has went up into the uh, injectors. But get this thing out of here and then uh, try a new one. Hopefully the car will run better. So there it is. Fuel filters out. Look at all that dirt, gross, grime, crap out of the tank. It's pretty nasty. So. Uh, Got a fresh one here. I'm gonna pop it in. Should work. April's actually doing work back here. She's not I'm modeling. Doing work. Not modeling. I'm actually working on work. something. So, pop this thing back in. We should uh, be able to try it again. New fuel filters in it. Let's see how she does. I got a 13 2, so not bad pass. She needs a good 12 second pass. That filter going to shit kind of screwed us up, so she needs a good hit pass here. Well, hopefully it was a fuel filter issue. go 1282 so Vince here he's actually right behind my dad in the class I'm not sure we ran earlier we'll keep an eye on what he's running too so if we have a bad pass he could easily get ahead of us even so he just went 854 so we need we need an 850 today There's something on the track. They'll have to check that and then uh, hopefully send him down. So April just went 12, 8, 12, 8. So I think it's been 12, what, 6, 7 here? 4, so we're right back to where it's usually ran here. So that fuel filter, fix it, everything felt good. Yep, it felt, it felt amazing. It went right through. Really there. clean. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was just waiting for it to you know, mess up. Yep. Yeah, and I got to the eighth and I was like, okay, okay. And then got to the corner and I was like, hell, yes. Yeah. Like, it's back. <laughs> it's, did it. Clyde's back. So I'm going to try and make um, maybe one or two more passes to see, you know, if I can get a faster time. I don't know. Just Probably, try it. Yeah, just I try might it. try one to try to go deeper in the 13s. So. We'll so maybe make a few more passes tonight. Awesome. Well, yep. Here to have fun. We're here. Make, make some passes. 
See if the Buick can, can do what the Buick does. See if I got some family and friends here. <laughs> here we go. We need a deep 850 here. See if he wants to make another one. So, we'll 880 is not too bad, we'll but uh, right. the guy before him went at 53, so to be in still, like trying to keep up with that first place spot, we'll definitely need 50 here. So, we'll see if he wants to uh, try to turn it up and go from there. There we go. Motion race marquee. About to send it. That's a really, really, really good Bumping in. Solid hit! Solid hit! There it goes! 14.33! Not bad, not bad. So they did some thrashing on Ruby, and uh, here it goes. Changes. He added some boost, added some RPM to a two step, changed some suspension up. A little Hell Mary pass here, see what it'll do. of a pass. That was pretty good. 8.49 with a 7. seven. With a 7. 3,000. Jesus. Been right on the mud. Did the tires it's chatter insane. at all or yeah. did it go? It felt better. It looked better, yeah. It looked you a lot better. You can go another two clicks on that compression and it'll stiffen it up a little bit. Yeah, it'll probably go faster. Yeah. I wouldn't do it right now. i just keep running. <laughs> you have to, like, We're going to pull a half a pound out of it and run it. Almost the exact same pass. Okay. Right? Yeah. Try it. <laughs> That's close. That's so close. Now, they don't have a variance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can we get a measurement on the lights? When's the last time you guys had those calibrated? I think you're off by three or three. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it's right on the <laughs> Fell a lot better though. Yeah, 60 foot came around 149. Definitely hit felt better on the hit. <laughs> All the way through it. It's still chatting. Still a little down on mile an hour, you still moving. Yeah, we line. gained a hair and lost. It's still not all there, but it's all right. Yeah. That, oh, it, was so it, was it was so close. It was close. We got to run it again. Yeah, I have yeah, to. Yeah. Or I have to take my 880 pass. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One little glitch in the panel would probably... Yeah. Anything. <laughs> probably staging. Said, Deeper or not as deep would be... Oh, yeah, that would make this one right there. Just scrubbing the brakes right at the mile an hour. <laughs> well... One more pass coming up. April's getting ready to go. Here we go. April versus Junkyard Dave over here. Little Gen 5 Mazda action on a Scat Pack Magnum. See how she does, a little better air. See how it does here. Both in the 14-0 class, Robert goes 14-0. 
14.06. Jerry goes 14.07. See how she does here. Robert Kirby, number two in the 14.0 class behind Larry Armstrong. Rolling in quick. She's going to go deep. Best pair coming at you. Go! A little grudge race action. Seven at 106. Two days, 12.58, but she treed him on the light. Hail Mary coming up right here. Extra 25 shot. Hail Mary, we got this, baby. Try to get this 13. It's close. It's close. Pill it to not really kill it, but pill it to hopefully take whatever it'll take. <laughs> Max that fuel system out. Well, here we go. Buick's ready to run again. 8.40. Nine with a seven three thousandths off, so dang close. But we can't go faster than 850 here, so 850, pulled, he ended up pulling a half a pound of boost out of it, and uh, we have to everything the same, so hopefully it'll go right down through there. 850, 850, zero, zero. <laughs> Come on, we need some good vibes right here. Then we got Wally the Grand Marquis looking stripped down, beat up, and ready to spray a little extra to go for that 13-9. 13-9. 13-9. Doug's going to uh, even lean forward through the traps. Yeah, I got a rocket. Try to gain that little, that just that little bit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this. So, so close. It's so hard when you run so close, like three thousandths of a second. Like, literally, if you wanted to win in, uh, it's deep, or maybe if you're running a little deeper, or whatever. Like, this, how far you stage will change how much, how fast you run. So, crazy to think three thousandths of a second. All right, good burnout. Everything's good. Come on, let's go. Let's go. The tune-up's in it. Just needs to do its thing. Just driving around with like the title in the glove box in case he gets pulled over. Here we go. Can it go? 13. She's gonna try to tickle the ball, get a run at it. Everything we can do right here, go 13. A little too spicy. Got on the tire. So close. Oh, I don't know what the plan is, but uh, being three thou off, sometimes you just can't go that fast. It's about 15 minutes later. Repack the chute. He threw ice in it. Roll up to the staging lanes. We've got to be in the staging lane. 9:45, so we're going to get the car in the staging lanes. 
Then he's gonna adjust the uh, two-step just a little bit, try to hopefully get it out of the hole. The track, I think, is going away, tamp, everything. So uh, just gotta get up there. He'll make some changes and then try to get this. I mean, worst case, we turn it 880, but the car is so close to going to perfect 850. We just wanna see it try to do it. All right, guys, here we go. Hail Mary pass. My dad pulled some out of it. Turn the car around real quick. We'll see what it does here.